Okay guys. So in this video we'll be talking about the time factor for CSI net because I'm doing several videos on time factor. Now uh, or on CSI net and how to crack CSI net. Now in this case I'm going to say another important and that is uh, the time factor for CSI net and in any kind of competitive exam time is very very important and I've told you before in my other videos also time is going away time is running away once you're in the exam room it is going away but once you're preparing yourself still it is going away so you need to make a chart kind of thing you know if you're practicing on your own because I practiced on my own to to get my net so uh, I believe in uh, own or self-assessment I'm going to do a separate video about self-assessment thing because it's very important uh, but uh, you also need to do that you know if you make a chart whatever if you're taking uh, coaching or tuitions it's fine but making a chart is very very important you know I have this time in my hand this is the syllabus I want to cover these are the major things that I want to cover and so what is going to be my uh, chart or division for each day and what are the different topics I want to study each day right and the way I want uh, actually I prepared myself is I didn't follow exact kind of routine like that because I don't like to follow certain routines but uh, what I what I did actually whatever feels good uh, whatever I find interesting one day why well, feels good I just practice that I mean uh, suppose a day uh, it's it's my mood actually it's my depend on my mood always that uh, I need to learn uh, developmental biology. I, I, I have having kind of interest on developmental biology. I read all those developmental biology topics and concepts and then try to answer some MCQ questions. So the phase will be of two different types. One is that you need to read certain things. You need to be clear certain things. Second thing is to, to check whether what is the content you, you have learned, right? Whether it is enough or not. Now one best thing you know about our education system. Now, the problem of our education system is that uh, we never recall things and that's a very very bad thing I, I, I highly recommend all of you to recall things you know we read certain things not only for the competitive exam but for any other cases for your uh, semester exams in your colleges or universities what you did just simply uh, you you just read it read it read it read it and read it and recall only one day when you're just giving the exam isn't it it, this this is the this is true for all of us because we, we somehow do, don't get that much of time to recall things but it is very very important to recall a thing because you know if you're dumping something in your memory just think it think it about uh, our brain is is just like a ram you know things there are there is ram there is hard disk both these things are there so if whatever is the random access memory it will be lost after shutting down the machine so before you're shutting it down the machine you need to transfer it to the hard drive to make it permanent and that's what we forget to do we always read and read we put on informations in our brain and what happens ultimately if we don't recall things we don't build that neuronal link because you know once we start memorizing things they need to bridge different connections between neurons in our brain and that's why the memories become permanent right it's also a, another biological concept and, and in that case if you don't recall things uh, the less you recall thing the less will be the connection of the bridges in the neuron in your brain as a result uh, you don't get uh, the permanent memory for all these stuffs so you probably uh, read it probably 10 times but you forget once you're recalling things now during the recall you can actually learn what part of the study you need to learn more what part you need to not learn more you know if I ask you certain things if I ask you that uh, what do you know about uh, cloning molecular cloning and uh, different sequential stages of recombinant DNA technology just tell me you probably think about oh my god recombinant DNA technology is a large thing it's a vast thing how can I tell and what is the amount I know I need to I need to look at it once again then finally tell uh, give give an exam but don't do that if you want to study recombinant DNA technology one day just go for it find some MCQ questions find some some 30 40 50 MCQ questions start to solve them during that solving those MCQ question you definitely get some idea about which is the part of RDT you forgot which is the part you didn't and just focus on those part you forgot and it will build again a permanent memory between your forgetting links and that memory I'm going to set, tell you that memory will not fade in two three four months it will it at least last for two or three years and that is the true fact guys whatever thing I memorize in my life which I think is very necessary to memorize I don't think memorize or mug up too much of things but what I 
what i get in my mind most of the things i recall them i i just uh, stood by uh, i just stay calm uh, just and think about certain topics in my in my mind in my own that this is the topic and what i know about the topic i have my pads usual pads as you seen one of my pads i just start writing those concept that this is not everything you know because that's not uh, kind of logical because you don't have time to do that but uh, simply you just write that this is the topic you know from uh, rdt this is it this is it and i think that yeah i know that i know that i know that i can explain it i know that and finally what i find oh i kind of fading this topic suppose i'm talking about that blotting southern western northern and i say say western blot i kind of forget what is the exact thing about western blot so at that point i make a star on the western mark western blot that that thing i don't know i kind of ca- can't recall right now so the memory is not good for that particular topic then after after go through my memory lens i just come back and watch uh, or look for western blotting uh, notes or from any book just read it from any any of your textbook or whatever uh, source you have and then yeah i understand finally uh, and fine uh, rdt is fine to me so this is the way to understand what is the thing you know what you don't know right so for the time management what i am going to say uh, i just uh, distract a little bit but i need to say that for the time management also that's how you need to manage In every day you just divide your time in this section it's i'm not going to tell you that you need to learn 10 hours 12 hours a day it's not necessary in this level if you learn i'm going to tell you if you learn 2 hours a quality time every day you're going to get it but for csi net if you're preparing for 90 day span you need to give 6 or 8 hours that's that's a good idea to give at least 6 hours uh, devoted towards csi net topics and all these things now in this case what you need to do divide the day time in two parts or three parts actually first part is by recalling things choose a topic for each day right small topics large topic whatever you you name it you choose it is completely your decision choose a topic select it first uh, first important thing is to le- recall certain things and find out which are the things you know which are the things you need to know and then the things you need to know just find those topics in your textbook notes whatever uh videos of my channel or whatever you just whatever you use check for it look for it and learn it after learning that then finally the second and uh, the third part the third part of your of your study planning will be solving mcqs right then solve the mcq questions that uh, find 40 50 mcq questions solve it and then you can find that yes you can write it or not right depending upon the type follow some standard mcq book you can follow pathfinder books on many uh, i'll be doing a separate videos on uh, which, what what are the books you need to follow and all these things but uh, this is kind of it about the time management once you're preparing yourself for net another very important thing once you're tackling with the mcq questions at home in that case also tackling mcq question at home is also very important and during that time you also need to understand during that time you also need to check for uh one minute it's having some problem yeah so during that time uh, yeah so okay so during that time you also need to check for uh the time you know you need to step up stop stop clock or whatever stop watch whatever you use and uh, nowadays mobile is having all the functionality you just take your cell phone Uh, put some timer on go ha- go ahead and give the questions a shot and look for because this is very very important and that's that the thing you need to do at your home whatever thing you're doing yeah you're you're thinking about i'm sitting at home why what is the need for for checking on the time but this is important you need to create the ambience of your exam right though you're in the sitting or in your couch or in your bed and doing this homework though it not feels like you're in the csir hall but still you need to drive something using the time because you know this is very very important and this is found to be productive if you put some timer on so put some timer on any in any source and try to solve the questions and it's very important that you can put the timer slightly faster i mean uh, you know in csr exam you get uh, 200 marks and you get 3 hours so divide in each question time which is the hour you you are actually having now in this case do it like uh, slightly less slightly less time so that you can complete it more faster or by your practice you know practice is a thing that never fails and that is uh, the true word that's the golden word practice is something which never fails so if you continually practicing things it will give you some positive side definitely right